never seen anybody in more pain. Tragic details emerge on Bert Newton's leg amputation. While Bert Newton recovers in hospital after having his leg amputated due to an uncontrollable infection, his wife Patty Newton has been at his side every step of the way. After news broke of Bert's latest health battle, which has seen him lose a leg, his wife provided an update on the TV legend's harrowing health battle. Speaking to Nine News as she was visiting Bert in hospital, Patty revealed she has already started making alterations to her house to accommodate her husband once he returns home. What's more, despite the big procedure, Patty assured the outlet that the presenter was in good spirits. H has got a big journey ahead of him, as we all have, but you know Bert, onward and upward, she said. Now, Patty has opened up further on the situation, revealing that to the Daily Telegraph that she had never seen anybody in more pain than her husband on the morning of his operation. I just felt he could not go through pain like he was going through for much longer, she said. Bert went into surgery on Saturday, to which Patty described it as a long day and a long wait. She also spoke of her husband's fighting spirit, saying he chose to do the life-changing surgery because he has so much to live for. This is not a death sentence. He is lucky, he has got family all around him. The grandkids mean the world to him, she said. The news regarding the TV Week Gold Logie winner's harrowing ordeal broke via Peter Ford, where he said Bert's health concerns began around Christmas with an infection in his toe. It got worse, he was seeing doctors and specialists and they couldn't seem to get it right, it kept on spreading, Peter said. Basically he was told last week, you have a couple of months to live, or if you have your leg amputated, you'll probably have a few years. So, he agreed to have the leg amputated on Saturday. He then went on to describe it as a life or death decision that was presented to the star, and one that would impact the rest of his life with wife, Patty. It's a big decision for anyone to make, but it's also a practical thing, because they live in a two-story place with the bedrooms and the bathrooms upstairs. So they're now having to convert the house downstairs because Patty doesn't want him to go into a nursing home, he said.